hitting something, which is right there. She goes, I think I heard gunshot. And then all of a sudden, I seen people coming from both directions to try to leave, to try to leave, you know? So then I told her to get in the cooler. And then I came up front, and man, that's when you, that's when I saw. But I didn't see any, uh, I don't know, I, I don't, I couldn't even speculate on what actually happened, you know? I mean, Flint's my home, man. Flint's is where I've made some of my uh, best friends, you know? I wait on the same people. I got a core regular that come here every day. They're like family to me, you know? I met my wife in Flint, you know? I mean, my coworkers are like my family, you know? It's, yeah, here in the car. I know, right? Uh, those are like, uh, it's like my core family, you know? That I feel like we're one big, like, unit. And, uh, and that's what I like about being downtown. We get a lot of news when there's a tragedy, but there's also a very strong unit in Flint that comes together during tough times. And, that, and I feel like that, I feel like that's just as important a message to get out to the people rather than, oh, something bad happened in Flint. Blackstone's guy brought over just a bunch of food for the staff. Uh, Phil Schultz just was here to come give us a hug, you know, saying, hey, it's gonna be all right, so. Still sucks. I ain't gonna stop it though. So, sorry about that. <laughs> People can bounce back from a tragedy. It's not gonna define me. But you know, you obviously have to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, okay, this didn't work. Let's make some adjustments. And I feel like after a week or two, people are like, okay, you know, hey, I had a great time. Back to the great times that we've had every week here for the past two decades almost, you know, so.